hi and welcome back to the crafty author my name is anisa i am the crafty author welcome to my quilting room we are still working on our prairie point pinwheel baby quilt that we have been working on so i am going to flip the camera so that you can see what i have over here on the quilt as you can see i have our quilt up there so far i am getting ready to add strips so we're going to start with the inner border and I wanna see if it's gonna fit. So I'm gonna take a couple of the strips over here right now, and I'm gonna just put them here, and it looks like I'm only gonna need four strips. All right, so here we are at the machine, and we are just going to make sure that our pinwheels are going in the correct direction that we want them to. So this one has our main fabric on here, and I know it's really hard to tell. Um, but this is the direction that I'm going to be putting them on. So I'm just gonna make sure that I have this correct. And then I'm just going to put these pieces together, like so. And you do wanna make sure that they line up because there are some little points in here that need to line up. And what I mean, what I'm saying is these right here. So you have like a little diamond piece that'll met, that'll come together in the middle, in the center when we put this together. So we just wanna make sure that that's gonna line up. And we wanna make sure that we sew these straight. So now I'm just gonna use my quarter of an inch and I am just gonna start sewing down. Okay. Now I'm gonna finger press this just to see if I lined up. And I got pretty close right here, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much. So, close enough right there. And then I'm going to take my other piece and I'm going to add it on. I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this down right here. press again and then we have one of our rows done and this one is right on so all right so I'm going to finish doing that to the rest of our blocks and then we'll attach the rows you should now have four rows so what you do to attach the rows is just like when you're attaching any rows in a quilt but we are going to take this row here and this row here, and we are going to put right sides facing each other. I wanna make sure that everything is going in the correct direction. So we are going to just line up our edges. And I'm just gonna use some clips here to do that. So I will do that there. And then up at the top here, we have some spots where we need to maybe nest a little bit. So I'm just gonna do that there. I'm also gonna do it here. pushing those that way. It won't change the seam, but it does just help it to line up together. So that's what I'm doing here. Just taking this bottom one and just pushing that part there and then nesting the top seam with that one. This one's already done. So I'll just clip that and then I'll just clip this end here. Okay, 
and now we're ready to start sewing. So I'm just gonna use my quarter inch seam allowance and I'm just gonna start. everything should be lining up and it is so this is why I was lining up those seams as I went along all right so now I'm just going to continue to do that um, and I will show you this once I have them all together and pressed because you do want to press your seams um, once you're done so so I have all of the rows sewn together and as you can see, all of my points are lining up perfectly. And this is what I was talking about when I was nesting as I was putting the rows together. So you can see how all of my points are meeting up. So let's take a look. Let me see if I can, oh, that's too far. Um, well, that's as close as I can get you there. Anyway, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to start working on our prairie points. So I showed you earlier the border that we're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out of here just a little bit like that. And we're going to look at this border that we looked at before. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> got allergies going on here today. And I am going to put this on here and I want this to be a little bit bigger. So, actually like that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I don't even think that I will cut the strip to be honest. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then we are gonna start putting the prairie points together and I'm gonna show you how we, how we do this. Um, pretty tedious so if you have a good movie that you want to watch or a podcast that you're gonna to listen to now it's the time go ahead and put it on so because we're gonna be doing a lot of pressing and folding so it's gonna go on like that so we're gonna need a bunch of them how many to be exact I do not know at this point um, I'm not sure how much each side is going to take until we start getting into this so I'm gonna show you how we make these prairie points and then I'm gonna go off camera and make a whole bunch of them just like you are. And then I will show you how we attach these and get this going onto our, our quilt. So I'm gonna be using my wool pressing mat. Um, I really find that this helps to keep the heat in. So I'm just gonna start pressing. So you're gonna take a square, your two and a half inch square you're gonna fold it diagonally like that. You're going to press it. You can also use starch for this. This would really help, um, starch would help keep it down if you want it to be stiff and stay down like that. And then you have a prairie point. So you're gonna fold it into a triangle just like this. I am going to use a clip to hold mine down for right now and set it aside. And then I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did. And this is what I'm gonna do for the next, I don't know, <laughs> probably 30 minutes, um, is I'm gonna just make all of my prairie points. Just like this. So get yourself comfortable, grab a drink, um, and just have a, a pressing party. All right, so I have gone ahead and attached one row of the prairie points, and I am gonna show you how I did this. But after I attached it, what I did was I went through and I did a top stitch on top. So I wanna go ahead and show you that. Um, just to hold these down, 
okay? And so I'm gonna show you how we um, prepare the prairie points and then how we attach it with the border and then how I do this to get it to lay down nice and flat. All right, so I have all my prairie points. So there are 25 on this side there's probably going to be 25 on this other side that we're going to do. So 50 total just for the long edges. And then the short edges, I'm assuming there will probably be 22. So that is how many prairie points I cut. I would just cut 100 prairie points, to be honest. That way, if you need more, you have them. And if you don't need more, then you're good to go. So, you know, it's always better to have extra than to have to stop and go cut more. So I'd start with that 25 mark and then call it good. I'm going to measure the border piece that we need for the inner border. I'm just kind of eyeballing this and I'm gonna leave a little bit of wiggle room here. I'm not gonna cut it exact because, you know, you don't want it to be too short. So, that's what I, how I do this. So here's what we do. I'm gonna set the quilt aside for a second because we don't need it right at this very moment. What we need is this. And so our prairie points are gonna point this way. So I want to make sure that I'm going to put them facing this way. So the closed edge goes on the very edge of my, my um, border here. I put my raw edges together and then I line that corner up exactly. Then I'm gonna take this prairie point and this closed edge is going to go inside of this open end here. And then I'm going to clip it. And then I'm going to take another prairie point and I'm gonna take my closed edge. I gotta get this right here. <laughs> Keep wanting to flip them. And I'm just gonna place it again in there, raw edges facing me. And again, we're going to just go ahead. Boy, I don't know why I'm having troubles with this. I am just going to keep repeating this all the way down. I am going to place my long edge this way. And I am going to put this just like this. Right sides facing each other. Don't worry about these little, these little prairie points at this moment. I want to make sure that when I start this, that I put this corner right along that edge to start this off. So I will clip that and I'll clip that to this side and that's gonna hold that into place right there. I'm gonna spread this out and then I'm going to start just clipping right where I have everything, but I'm gonna clip it onto the quilt itself at this point in time. It is harder to sew through the prairie points. They are thicker. Remember, you have folded that in, you folded that into a triangle, and then you're also stitching it between two pieces of fabric, so it is thick. So keep that in mind, okay? You're gonna wanna go slow.
All right. So now your prairie points will all be laying this way. And that is fine. They can lay in towards the, the quilt if that's what your desired look is. But mine is not. So I want these prairie points to point outward. So what I do is I go to the iron and I press them this way. I press them out. And then once I've done that, I will come back here and I will top stitch all the way down. Okay, so now I'm back here and I'm going to top stitch on top of my prairie points to hold them down. You don't have to do this, but I highly recommend it because it'll make your life so much easier. So I just put my needle down and I use the edge of my foot right here just to go along that edge. I don't want to take a full quarter inch, but I do want to make sure that I am catching everything and stitching it down so that it will stay the way that I need it to stay. Next is go get our border for this side. And I'm going to show you how we line this up so that this looks nice. Okay, so I've already got that border going and now we are going to flip this just like we did the other one. The only thing that's tricky about this, once again, is that we are working with our edges that are gonna be different. So we want our little points to line up right here. So I'm going to, you can use a pin just like we just did, and you can mark that right there where that point is right there and then you're going to bring your other point and you're going to put it right there i overlap mine just a little bit just to make sure that i'm getting it on there okay and then i'm going to clip that down because we don't want that to move and now we can start putting our border of prairie points on here, just like we did with the long piece. So we'll just do that real quick. Okay, so I have all of the prairie points on the quilt now. This is what it looks like. Now we're ready to add the larger border around the quilt as well. So I actually had to change fabrics because that green gingham fabric was throwing off this pattern so much. So I will show you what I'm going to replace that with. So I ended up going with a cream color that's actually in this same fabric line, which is uh, Effie's Woods. And I have all this information on my, uh, on my blog showing you how to make this quilt. Um, but that is what we're gonna go with. We're gonna stick with this cream color just because it tones the quilt down. It makes it look a little more feminine. I felt like the green made it look more masculine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to attach these borders on this quilt. All right, here's how we attach the border. It's the same exact way that we've been attaching. We're gonna do this one, the longer one. I have both my pieces here, cause we're gonna both do, we're gonna do, excuse me, we're gonna do both of the long sides. So I'm just gonna put that down right sides facing each other. There's not a right or a wrong side for this um, that I can see. So I'm just gonna line this up with my edge. You could clip this if you're not sure, but I'm just gonna go with it here. I'm just gonna put it on and adjust to the edge as I go along here. Okay, 
we have one border on. Now I will do that to the other side as well. But you can see here what this is starting to look like. It looks so beautiful. I am loving the way that this quilt is turning out. So I'm gonna add this side. I'm gonna press this when I'm done. And then I will continue to add the borders down at the end here, the large border. And then I'll show you what the quilt looks like. Okay, this is what our quilt currently looks like. It's so cute. Now, this border that we just put on this big border is actually going to be trimmed down to four inches when we are done. Um, I make it bigger so that I have enough room and enough allowance for shrinkage when I go to quilt it. So that will be the next thing that I'll be doing. I will be sandwiching it and then we will start quilting it. And then once that's done, we'll trim it and then we will bind it. And so we're just gonna do this step by step though for right now. I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see how beautiful this really, really is. So you can see here, those are our pinwheels. We've got our prairie points. They're lined up really, really well. I'm happy with that. Um, and this is what we have right now. And I just think it looks so incredibly beautiful. It's so cute. So this is what we have. If you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to click that little bell. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload a brand new, cool, awesomely cool new video. Um, everything that you need to make this quilt is on craftyauthor.com. The link will also be down below in the description box. And keep on crafting. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.